Hello fellow prego ladies, welcome to my prenatal workout. This workout is suitable for all trimesters, first, second and third. As you can see, I am very pregnant. I'm actually 33 weeks pregnant. So just to prove to you, you can keep soldiering on. Keep in mind that you will have high energy days and low energy days and you want to completely listen to your body on the day of the workout. So if you're just not feeling it, don't go so hard. I will show you some modifications as well, some lower modifications if you're just not feeling like pumping it out big time. Always start by warming up. So a good five minute warm up is preferred or even a 10 minute warm up depending on how warm or cold it is outside as well. Here are a couple of just basic ideas for a warm up or you can just do a walk around a block or whatever it does to take you to get nice and warm. Um, first few little things is just a couple of little leg lifts. Just warming up, trying to lift your knees up, switch your core on, practicing perfect posture, remember that back and down and then start to pump your arms as well. Now if you're feeling not so great, just take it a little bit lower and a little tap is fine. Just make sure you're warming up nicely, getting that heart rate up nice and gradually. So we've got our legs and our arms and our core switched on. Do that for a couple of minutes. Also, just to keep postural check, nice warm up using our thoracic spine or our mid spine section. Thoracic twists, side to side, switch your abs on side to side. Be careful of this exercise if you do have diastasis recti, which I've spoken about in a previous video, which is that separation of the abdominal wall, greater than two finger widths. So really core on, good posture, shoulders back, and just twisting from the rib cage. Another thing you can do is just a little heel dig feel like I'm doing a bit of a Jane Fonda workout here and reaching side step out to the side. So you can take it low, it's just a warm up or you can make it a little bit harder with a little bit more impact but just be aware that this one is the higher or more advanced version. So there's a few ideas of warm ups for you. The first exercise we're going to do today is a half squat and then take it into a full depth squat. It's really good to have a chair behind you for this uh, and I'll also do a side angle so you can see what I'm doing. First things first, feet are hip width apart. So that's my hip bones, there's my knees, there's my feet. As you get more and more pregnant you may want to take it out a little bit wider. First thing to move is my pelvis. My abs are on, my shoulders are back, I've got perfect posture. And I'll do just a half dip squat. So all I'm doing is I'm just moving a few inches, about that far. All my weight is traveling backwards, just like I was about to sit on that chair. Okay, so my butt is going back. The weight is through my heels of my feet. I'm not going forward. All that weight is going back. Once you get confident doing that, you can take it into a full squat. That's where the chair comes in handy because you can go to the chair and come back up. It's a really good depth gauge. So my butt is touching the chair and that's a really good depth there. Make sure you don't have too many chairs that are too low. <laughs> There's no need to go beyond 90 degrees. Try and do 10 of each, so 10 of the half depth squat and 10 of the full depth squat. If you're an advanced exerciser, you want to increase your intensity a little, feel free to grab some dumbbells. I've got five pounds here. Remember that you are carrying extra baby weight, so no need to go too heavy. But it's a really good idea to keep those quads, hamstrings and glutes nice and strong there. There we go. Moving on, we're going to do a, a Y shoulder raise. So for this one, it's a good idea just to grab really light dumbbells. I'm going to grab two pounds. So just two pounds for this one. We're going to go up and out. Up and out. Now, I'm going to take a seat with this one. You can sit on a ball or you can use the chair. Take a load off. 
The idea here is to really open up your chest and bring your shoulder blades back and down. And ideally, you want to hold it up there for a couple of seconds. Breathing through it. So once again, we're working on keeping a nice, strong, straight back and opening up through the chest area. Moving on to a side lunge. So this time we're going to be working the inner and outer thigh. Keep a chair handy for balance just to help us just have it there just in case you need it. As we get more and more pregnant, we start to lose our balance. So it's good to have a chair just to hang on to just in case. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we step out nice and long. Big, big, big wide step. We lean into that side and come back up. And then we switch sides. Down and up. So you have one leg lengthened and one leg bent. Once again, our pelvis is pointing backwards. Switching it up. Ideally, doing 10 on each side, so 10 on each leg. If you're advanced, you can grab some dumbbells and you may not need the chair. So as a modification, if you want to take it down a notch, use that chair and instead of switching side to side, just do the same leg, same side. Don't go so low. So just sort of keep it in your comfort zone rather than going really, really low. Okay, so there's a modification there. No dumbbells. Go to your comfort zone and then switch. Okay, so there's not as much moving, movement going on there. Moving on to plie pulses with an upright row. This is going to work our inner thigh and also our shoulders for great posture there. So we've moved our chair back. Just be careful moving that back. The chair is there once again for a depth gauge. Toes are out. Hips are out nice and wide. My pelvis is the first thing to move back. Just do this one body weight first so we make sure we've got perfect form. Go down towards the chair. Squat, upright row and come back up. Squat, upright row and come back up. Now what's happening with my upright row is that as I do the upright row, my shoulders are back and down and squeezing my mid back there. So squeezing nice little rhomboid squeeze and coming back up. For advanced pregos, grab some dumbbells and take it nice and wide, okay? Nice and wide, nice and low with some weight. So we're going to go low, upright row, come back up. Low, upright row, come back up. Making a diamond shape with your arms, big squeeze, breathing through it, exhale on exertion. Don't forget to drink as you're doing all these exercises. In between exercises, keep well and hydrated. So that's the advanced version. Low, slow with dumbbells. And of course, to modify that, don't go so low. And you can just use your body weight. Forward lunge into backward lunge. Have a chair handy if you need it. Uh, for balance, you can just pop uh, your hand on there. Now this time we do a big step out, so my back heel's up off the ground, body weight dropping straight down, come back to the center and then I use the same leg and step it back. Back to the center, forward, back heel off the ground, dip it down, return to center, big step backwards, drop it down, return to center. Now to modify this just do it nice and slow. Or you can do 10 forward and 10 backward. So slow it down and control it. If you're more advanced, pick up those dumbbells. Pick up those dumbbells and add a bicep curl. So we go forward, bicep curl, return to center, backward step, backward lunge, bicep curl, return to center. If you're even more advanced and you've got your balance still, Bicep curl, straight step back, so you're missing that midsection, and straight through. So that's if you've got exceptional balance, and you are advanced, you've got lots of core work involved there. So big multi-muscle workout, this one. Whew, it's getting me breathless already, which we don't want to do. So I'm going to stop that one there, and take it to the mat. So final 
finally we get to hit the mat. Our first mat exercise is a leg extension into a hamstring curl. Now this does involve being on all fours, so I don't recommend this exercise if you do have diastasis recti. I'll give you an option to do after this. So I'm taking it into an all fours position, knees hip width apart, arms are shoulder width apart, and if you do have carpal tunnel, remember that you can always use dumbbells to take your wrists into a neutral position. Make sure that your wrist is under your shoulder height to perform this exercise. So if it's not out here, it's right under your shoulder height. Draw your belly button in towards your spine, so hug that baby. We extend one leg out, so that leg extension. Flex your uh, toe down, so flex your heel towards you. Bring it in and extend back. So leg extension and hamstring curl. If you have ankle weights and you want to make it a little bit harder, you can add some ankle weights to this exercise. Lengthening the leg and drawing it back in. Try and do 10 to 15 on each leg. Breathing through it, always breathing through it and always thinking about a nice posture, perfect posture, drawing your belly button in the whole time, using your core at the same time. So that's the leg extension with the hamstring curl. Now as I mentioned, if you do have diastasis recti, prefer you not do that exercise. Here is a side lying option. You can take it onto your side, very safe to do. Support your head or you can go all the way down, up to you. Legs straight, toes flexed and we're going to do circles. Now, even if you don't have diastasis recti, you can do this exercise as well. So all I'm doing is making nice big circles, big, big circles with my leg. And of course, if that's a little bit too hard, bend that leg in a little bit and make those circles a little bit smaller. If you're feeling fantastic and you want to make it harder, pop on some ankle weights and make sure you switch directions and go the other way. So 10 each way on each leg. So you want to swap legs after that one as well. Our final mat exercise involves using our obliques. It's called helicopter arms. And if you do have diastasis recti, I recommend that you don't do this exercise just because it puts a little bit too much pressure on. And I'll give you an option to do after I've demonstrated this helicopter arms exercise. Have two pounds handy if you're an advanced exercise prego lady so that you can increase the intensity there. First things first, I want you to sit up nice and tall from the pelvis. Feet are out in front and relaxed. Toes are flexed a little bit towards you so that you don't have any calf pump going on. Sitting up tall, leaning back to a point where you've got perfect posture and you just start to feel your core muscles engage. Arms in front, we twist sideways, look over our shoulder, tap the floor, and come back. Switching sides, keeping that posture up nice and tall, tap the floor, come back. Now notice I'm twisting from my rib cage, okay? From the rib cage, twisting, my whole spine is rotating, I'm keeping my posture, my abs are switched on, supporting my spine as I go. Like I mentioned, if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to pump it up a little bit, grab some light weights, shouldn't be too heavy for this one. Same thing, twisting, bringing it back to the center, twisting, bringing it back to the center. Try 10 to 15 on each side. And if you do have diastasis recti, I would recommend you do a side bridge as an option. Modified side bridge on your knees. So knees bent and come up. So all you're doing is lifting. You're using your uh, obliques to lift your body weight. Make sure that your elbow is under your shoulder. Okay, so lifting up and holding it for 10 to 15 seconds or as long as you can. And release. We're going to make it a little bit more advanced. Make sure your body's lined up perfectly so you have head, shoulders, hips, knees, heels lined up. And in the same position, using your obliques, lift up your entire body weight and hold it. So you can also cheat a little. Put a leg in front or arm, leg, if you're really super advanced. Hold that for about 20 seconds if you can. Of course, you want to make sure you swap sides 
And that completes our workout. If this is the first round through, make sure you do that two times through and that's your workout. Done.